um on today's tutorial i'll be doing a tutorial on eyeglass i presume many people have um waited for the tutorial and um it's been a while now i've uploaded a tutorial so today i'll be doing the tutorial on eyeglass so i downloaded some of these eyeglasses you know there are two types of um work we got to do is either we do blending or we do sketching you know we can sketch it and paint it or we could just blend it so for the tutorial i'm teaching you how to blend it and probably in the next tutorial i'll teach you how to draw it from scratch so right now we're we'll selecting a suitable eyeglass that we're going to use for the tutorial so precisely let me select a tutorial that will match a good color between these three let's go with this You share it to the decks. All right, now so it's now to the So, the first thing to do normally is to, is to draw. So, let's give us a, a slight sketch. It's not that we'll sketch everything, it's just a slight sketch. Such a brush. Then do it just a slight sketch for a new background because it to two. Try to give just a slight sketch when I was sketching everything. You know, if we have to paint it from scratch, you will, you will draw everything. But this tutorial will go to be on blending, so we'll not be sketching everything. We'll be sketching the main visible parts to bring out the details. So you sketch the main parts. Some people are saying I should start putting music in my uh, videos, but I said no. That there will be no need of music, no need of song. Because I want you guys to get the full detail, the full gist of everything. So right, right now, you know, it has been long I did um, a part 1, part 2, part 3 kind of tutorial. Probably we'll be doing that once in a week. 
once in, in every week so in a month is four times in a month so hook up you want to get a tutorial so right now nothing to do is to blend this to blend this so we have to of this kind sort of sketched on it and let's blend this so we're going to select the color this color precisely select our paint brush start painting I don't want this video to be too long, so I will post it now and then paint the whole eyeglass now on it back so you can see where I am. Let me post it now. Okay, now I've completed painting the whole eyeglass. So you know that if this normal drawing, I'll start adding shade in the right proportions, I'm, and I must draw every detail of the eyeglass but in blending you just have to draw the main the main area that's going to go to be visible so now we'll tap on the layer layer of painted let me show you paint that's the layer i painted this layer now we'll put it on color can you see that it's now on color of this can you see that it's now on color so you could change it to any color of your choice, any color of the eyeglass. Can you see? I keep this on blue. No, let me just finish what I'm doing first. Waiting good first. So we we'll increase the color. So the next thing to do, you know, if if this eyeglass now is on somebody's face, hmm, if the eyeglass is to be on somebody's face. Once you are finished painting and you blend it like this, you will move above the sketches, as all the sketches, because I want to add the white, the whitey's um, part to make it look real. So and this is the place. So now let's add this whitey's area. Select white. But in this uh, tutorial, it won't be white because the background here is a uh, kind of white. I have to get an eyeglass that will be on another different background because it is um, blending. If it was drawing, we have no problem with the background because it's just just shade it and um, draw it from scratch. I presume you guys know how to use the few the few to make sure the lines are all connected if not it will join and paint 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 and paint and join Can you see that now? All right, now this point. Tap it and reduce it. If it was to be black, you would have seen what had was done. So now, to make this rhyme, you will have to paint this layer another color. This layer, I want to put another color. So you know once I've done so once I've done something I want to correct it again. Just lock the layer so that we won't go about repenting how we just did the white spots. We'll not lock the layer as I've locked it so lock the layer. Let me see I select the reddish color. I will open my brush and then can you see that? It's on point. Red like that. So if you reduce this, you can see what you have done just now. And again, you can change the color to any color of your choice. 
can you see that i could even make this blue if i want let me see green um pinkish red blue like that i will make it black and uh, white also and black also as you can see all are all the same all are all the same on the set make it blue let me see let me see this color is this color is good let's go for this color instead of you to be moving your your drawings to where you want to move them I just easily copy it there and then move it up and paste then you can start viewing what you have done of and view where you are right now can you see the way we blended Okay, so we blended this now you can also change this to other color if you want as you can see change it to other color of your choice that you, des you solemnly desire change it to any color of your choice so let's view this let me see what i can add Okay, let me add some blackish spot. I put this on color too. I created a new layer. I select black. Let me see if this will match. It's just testing. If it match, we we'll carry on. If it doesn't, clean it out. Let's try that to give it a more detailed settlement. So I'm moving gradually. Moving gradually. Moving gradually. The next tutorial is going to be on last skip. I will do it right about now. So we are moving it. So the bracket this layer. I will put it on soft light. Now you can see the difference. Now you can see the difference. Can see difference. All the difference. If you want, you can duplicate it. Similarly, you wish. You can duplicate it. But duplicating it is too much. So, leave it at this. If you want to glow it, you can still glow it. By choosing the glow, blending, you choose white. You choose hair flow brush. You move down. Can you see that? You can glue it. That glue is very much too much. Just glue it a little bit. Glue that. Glue that. Now, if any cartoon, if any cartoon is wearing that an eyeglass and you do it like this, you see that it becomes so beautiful. Just follow the step by step process on how I made this. You can also add your own idea. It's also good. You can follow this step also. It's also good. As you can see. Another picture worked on it. Another picture worked on it. So you know sometimes some people if they 
like let me say i minimize from here and come back your, your work might delete so you have to always spin your work always spin it and when you pin it it automatically save in Autodesk sketchbook app it, it, it automatically save in Autodesk sketchbook gallery so you have to always pin your work past works so on this very tutorial we'll be making a, a tutorial on on the landscape you know you guys are not pre this it's not a picture this is being made with autodex and open it now you can see the layers are used to draw the night sky I'm sure the layers are used can you see the black background if I change to red now you see it will change and all that yellow to change so it's night so it's black you can see all my layers it's white because everything here is only black and white you can see the stars you can see the moon you can see all that see how I work to treat the clouds the stars and all that so i'll be doing a tutorial on that next but the next tutorial it's not it's not going to be on plain black black and um, white sky sketch it's going to be on um blue deep blue night so this way we are If you want you can add shades if you want you can add shades select black select select the box and then select it so about that I will increase my brush Increase it then select it and all that. Yep. Select it. Yeah. The layer is beneath. <laughs> no wonder. Alright then. Reduce the ones to make it much more matured. As you can see this is the work that I've done what we got and what I've done so that's how to blend an eyeglass and we'll also put it on blue we of this change this totally on on blue hit it down and you move it down here change it on blue also matches if i see any color of a choice any color of a choice it will match if you can see any color of a choice it will match and put on this and also lower it can you see also good to have this you made this all and all are all the same thing so Hook up for our next tutorial and God bless you.